today we're gonna work oh, on it's okay. today we're gonna work on I'm gonna teach Kaylin how to um, get dressed being a hemiplegic. So she's been instructed that she's not supposed to use her left side, so we're gonna try and see how that works. Alright? Okay. First thing first, we're gonna get a regular t-shirt. So your arm is just here, we're not gonna use your left arm or your left leg um, at all. Okay? So grab the t-shirt behind you. And what you want to do, yours has um, words in the front so that you can tell which is the front and the back. So take it and lay it flat on your lap with the words facing down. So you want to hit, see just the back of it with the neck down here. Good. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in through the bottom and go to the left side, which is your affected side, which is your side you can't use. So go all the way, pull it all the way through to the left. And we're going to do something, we're going to make something called a nest. So you take it and you make it like a little hole. See, it looks kind of like a little bird's nest. Good, and you can pick up the side, your affected side, and place it into the nest. Good, and then you're gonna pull this, and you can kind of just maneuver, just pick up your hand as you need to maneuver around it. And you wanna get it at least past your elbow. Um, my shirt's a little big, so I might go up a little bit more. Okay, then what you do is you take the other side, and this is your non-affected side, and you put your arm through, and then you pull it all the way up, and then just fix it. Good. Now that's going to be twisted, but you can just keep working it around until it's not twisted. And fix your hair. You good? Almost. Maybe not supposed to. Don't rely on this at all. It's just kind of a thing. Now the other thing is. You could also, because it, you can't really control it, you can lay it to the side, you can pull it, let it hang, so you can straighten your arm sleeve. But your sleeve's pretty straight. Good. Now we're gonna get our button-down shirt, okay? So it should be behind you. Get your button-down shirt, and lay it so that your collar is up over here, um, and the tag is kind of like right where your belly is. So you know what? Yours is actually inside out. Hold on, because we hung it up inside out. There. Okay. So take the tag. All right. Take the tag. Look at her. Look at here. See how the tag is back here, and this is the inside out. So flip it over. And just lay it flat. Good. Now we're gonna come again with our left side. Come in like you're putting it on. All the way down. Good. And then again with the nest. So you've got to come back out. Now these shirts are, are not giant on us. I would recommend if you are a hemiplegic and you're learning to dress to go at least one size up so that you're not stressing and it's not super stressful. All right. Again, pick up your affected side, put it into the nest, pull it up. And just get it through there. Good. And you can pull it up a tiny bit more. I want to get too much more. And then we're going to come back to this side like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to swing it around our back and over. This one takes a little bit more time to organize yourself. No, no. Flip it over your head like this. Yeah, push it all the way through. <laughs> Keep pushing it through. Maybe we should have gone a size bigger with these shirts. Um, got it? <laughs> a lot of frustration that would come with dressing. Got it? Now pull it down from the back. Good. Good. Got it? Keep pulling. There it goes. So you just want to get it to where you can line up in front again. If you need to hang the affected arm to straighten your shirt, shirt out, get back up. Okay, now once you get it lined up, you want to line up your buttons because you don't want to have your shirt all misbuttoned. And we're only going to do one or two buttons. 
Um, I don't know how tiny your budget. Mine are very small. I would not recommend this shirt for somebody who is just learning to dress, um, being a new home playjick, because it'd be very frustrating due to the size of the buttons. I would recommend a, a larger button shirt or a polo, which is a couple buttons, or the pullover. So then you take your hole and you just kind of weave it through. I'm just going to button one so we can finish up the, um, the rest of it. Because again, these are super small and I would not, I would not recommend. And the, and the, um, the adaptive tools for doing this, the button hook is not the easiest thing to use either. Did you get one? Yay! Good job. All right, so just kind of, I just straightened one out. All right, now we're going to do our lower extremities. We're going to get our legs to, or our pants on. Um, you have shorts, and I have pants. So, again, what we're going to do is we're going to layer shorts or pants out so that we can see which one's the front and which one's the back, just to kind of help us get ready. So, good. So, your tag's going to go, like, right here, so you know that's the back side. Those are slippery. And just kind of pull them up on your leg and set them here. All right. Now, because we can't use our left side, we're gonna have to pick up our leg with our right hand and to pick it up from the ankle and come up and put it on the knee. Or you can pick it up by a little bit higher up. Good, and you're gonna take your pants and you're just gonna pull it through. Oh, that was very fast. Good, and then once you get it through, take the affected limb and set it down and then pull it up. And then your unaffected leg can just slide right in. Then you can move your hand if it's in the way too. Now, um, because you have two legs, you can actually use a walker um, or some sort of support to stand up and kind of balance on your good leg to get it over your bottom so you don't have to do bridging if you don't have that available or the space available or you're sitting in a wheelchair. So we're gonna use this chair to act as both of our walkers. So we've got it, you wanna pull it up as high as you can, maybe even get to the edge a little bit and pull up as high as you can, um, as high as you can pull them up. Pants as high as you can go. All right, and then you would pull yourself up and really rely on that one good leg. And this can, your affected limb can hang and you pull your pants up. And we are ready to go. Oh, I can start. Stylish is rape. Now we're going to take them off because that's the easy part. So you look good. Now to take it off, um, again, you use this for support if you, you, know, you need more stability. Um, it's actually really easy. You just need to get this past your bottom and you can sit down because you, know, if you're, you don't want to fatigue or um, let's say it could be an issue. So then you can sit back down once you get it off. Be careful coming out. And then um, you take off your unaffected leg first. So slide this one out. It's kind of the opposite. You put your affected in first when you get dressed and take your unaffected out when you get undressed. Okay, pick up your affected leg and take it off. Throw your clothes on the ground. Okay, replace your leg. Now with this, unbutton and then slide your affected arm out first and then again you could hang it to kind of pull it off Actually, pick it up and just shake it to the ground, and then pick it up off the ground if you need to. Okay, and this one's fairly easy. Just to be careful because you have two shirts on, not to pull off your other undershirt. But you could actually pull it. There's a couple ways you could do this, but the easiest one I found was to pull it from the neck over your head like this, and then it just comes off like that. Whew. Oh, I think you're losing with your shirts. <laughs> And then just pull it off of the affected one. All right, and that is dressing um, upper and lower extremities being hemiplegic. Hemiplegic. What do you think? Was it hard?
Mm. Did you get dressed every morning for school like that? No. It would take you a long time, longer than it already does. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin.